The theme of today was Barangaroo Point from vision to reality. We wanted to be able to communicate that to the wider industry and, and, and let everyone know about the fantastic collaboration that's really had to happen to deliver the vision. From landscape architects to contractors to horticultural advisors to soil scientists, what everyone's contributed to make this park or headland uh, what it is today. This represents one of the most significant and ambitious landscape projects undertaken in the history of this city and possibly in the history of this country. Paul Keating said to me, I want a monumental piece of landscape architecture. No one has ever said that to me before in my life. The headland is one piece of a larger public realm. It also includes the walkway along the foreshore, the stonework and the planting. The big thing on this project for me is innovation. None of this had been done before. One of the big stories is the sandstone. We used a lot of the old quarrying techniques. Um, so we looked at the fractures in the rock. Uh, we looked at that natural line that you have in Sydney. We could get the stone right out of the site. That's magical. We supplied approximately 75,000 plants in total, and that's a combination of ground cover, shrubs, trees, palms, exotics, and, and natives. My involvement has been the species selections for the plants, the involvement in the sourcing and the availability of the planting stock. We got our staff involved in a special TAFE course designed for this project, and it was about understanding, identifying, and the handling of the trees. When you've got a tree that's 10 metres tall, it's a bit hard to deliver on your normal trucks. In nature, you know, the, the terraced headland in sandstone is not unnatural. So those terraces are perfectly well in keeping with a naturalistic reconstruction of a headland. We all want to be part of something bigger than ourselves. We had to come together and each of us had to bring our hay game to make this thing work. And it is going to be an icon in Sydney, but also for Australia. It's hope that it's enjoyed by many generations to come and that it's a timeless piece of landscape architecture. What's really there is something that's more beautiful and really more beautiful than any other place in the world.